The Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start of summer and Milwaukee County Sheriff has a message for everyone post pandemic plans. Charles Benson joins us from the Harambe neighborhood and Charles. Shannon, we are at Rose Park, one of more than 150 Milwaukee County parks. They are all a popular destination place for families, including Milwaukee County Sheriff Ernell Lucas. When Sheriff Lucas steps onto the court, it brings back childhood memories, good ones. There is a rumor that you once had game on the court. Well, is it a rumor? <laughs> Well, I, I, hold that thought, Sheriff, as we go one on one about the busy summer season starting this weekend. Highways will be humming. Parks will be packed. We want to encourage uh, people to come out. Uh, we're all trying to move beyond the, uh, uh, the pandemic. The responsibilities of the sheriff's office include patrolling the highways and protecting the parks. We're going to be out and, and trying to prevent uh, any type of uh, crime or disorder. Uh, trying to detect uh, anything that's happening and then addressing those issues as they come up. How do you feel about your resources going into the busy season? It's been a challenging uh, time for law enforcement all across the country with uh, the pandemic and certainly a, a lot of the scrutiny. Um, a lot of people have uh, departed uh, this profession. It's unfortunate. We're not alone, though, Charles. The scrutiny of law enforcement comes after a tumultuous year with large protests here and around the country and calls for police reform. You be safe, bro. The challenges are not lost on Sheriff Lucas, nor those memories of growing up near Burley and MLK Drive and playing ball on what is now Rose Park. Was it a safe zone for you? Did you, you feel like this was a place you could grow up as a kid and not worry about things? We had law enforcement officers who we knew by name who came over the hill and when we were doing wrong, they would just say a word and we would scatter. Sheriff Lucas sees a chance to rebuild that trust, starting with today's youth. There was trust in law enforcement when I was a young boy uh, and law enforcement trusted the community. Because of a, a confluence of events that have happened over the years, a lot of that has been eroded, and it's incumbent upon all of us to work together to build that trust back up. Speaking of those days as a young boy, what? did Lucas have game? <laughs> I would say that my uh, my aspirations were were, were really uh, stunted by a draft pick in 1968 of a seven foot center out of UCLA named Lou Alcindor, and every young person wanting to throw a sky hook. No signs of that sky hook when he stepped out onto the court to play a little one on one with Robert, but he eventually was hooked on another career. <laughs> I knew then I better go into something else, so I, I, I chose law enforcement. Sounds like it might have been a good choice. <laughs> well, I, I hope so. It, it has turned out very well. Yeah. And of course, Lou Al Cinder went on to be known as Kareem Abdul Jabbar, a legend in the NBA. By the way, you can see a longer version of my interview with Sheriff, Sheriff Lucas online. Shannon? All right, Charles. So there are 150 plus parks. That's a lot of turf to cover. Does the sheriff's office get any help when it comes to keeping an eye on those parks? Uh, yeah, it's really a team effort. This is uh, the park that's in uh, Milwaukee, it's in the city of Milwaukee, but the county parks are spread out over 19 municipalities and the sheriff's office partners with local police departments to help out. By the way, let's look at the uh, resume of Sheriff Lucas, his timeline here in Milwaukee, 25 years with the Milwaukee Police Department and 17 years with Major League Baseball. And then he is a Milwaukee native and Marquette graduate. And Shannon, he was elected sheriff in 2018. Yes, I remember that. Thank you,